Hi, I'm Amanda Weber Roy with BC Parks. I am the conservation specialist here in the Kootenays. And BC Parks has been involved with the Regional District and the City of Nelson since about 2015. And the reason we got involved was because they were contacted us and they said they were updating their community wildfire protection plans. And we thought this was a fantastic time for us to actually finalize our fire management plan that we have for West Arm Park. It had been in a draft format since 2010. And so we needed, we, really, we recognized in the community that there was issues. BC Parks considers ourselves to be part part of this community and we wanted to see what we could do in terms of fuel management treatments to reduce the risk of wildfire in the community. And the best place to start is, is with a, a plan because obviously West Arm Park is 26,199 hectares which is 56 or I think it's like 95,000 or 65,000 acres so it's a huge area so we had to take that down into more measurable chunks and um, so that's what we've done. We've got a fire management plan. We hit the last public meetings we had were to discuss with the public about that fire management plan and see if they had any comments. Um, we did receive some feedback from some residents up in Sabota Road and we've added those areas into our fire management plan for treatment and uh, that's where we're starting some of our treatments this year. The most important thing for BC Parks and, and why we're involved is because we're concerned about park values and preservation of park values. That's our number one concern. We've got lots of other objectives as well in doing fuel management, but we need to protect our park values. And those are things like wildlife habitat and plant communities and plant composition and our recreational values and cultural heritage values. Those are the things that we want to protect. And, and we're concerned, you know, as much as the city of Nelson and the regional district are concerned about a fire starting in the park and running down into the community, we are equally concerned about a fire starting in the community and running uphill into the park. And for many, many years, um, there, our fire management plan did recognize that there's been significant, there is significant risk of wildfire in the park, and so we need to mitigate that. And so, um, you know, we've done treatments in the past, and there's challenges associated with those. They are hugely expensive. And so to, um, to conduct really effective treatments, we need to find partners. And that's the whole premise behind this, this partnership group that we've got going with the regional district in the city of Nelson is that we can work together to prioritize treatments, to leverage resources, and find ways just to work together. And uh, we also have other partners that we're working with outside of the regional district and city of Nelson as well. Um, other partners who are conducting similar fuel management work. And we recognize the same with those partners. Everyone has to work together to, to try and um, prevent the risk of, of wildfire. So since 2017, BC Parks has been funded by the Forest Enhancement Society of BC um, to conduct prescriptions, or to fund prescriptions for fuel management, as well as to um, implement treatments. We've also been funded by the BC Parks license plate um, program, which um, this year we got $100,000 from, so it's, it's significant. We pay anywhere from $10,000 to $12,000 a hectare per treatment, so these treatments are exceptionally expensive, and um, so we really, really rely on funders and our partners to, um, to get these treatments completed. So if you're looking for more information about what treatments BC Parks is conducting, you can go to the BC Parks website, specifically for West Arm Provincial Park and Kokanee Creek Provincial Park. Both of those parks have their own web pages and any information um, on treatments that we are conducting will be on those park web pages. So one of the biggest things for us in terms of um, what people can do when they're using the park and recreating in the park is to be extra vigilant and ensure that if they are mountain biking that they're making sure that if they're smoking they're disposing of cigarette butts properly or preferably not even smoking at all. There's a lot of fuel loading in the park and we wouldn't want a fire to start. Um, we really want people to recreate in the park but we want people to recreate in the park responsibly and um, we have to recognize that all of us plays a role and plays a part in, in wildfire reduction and mitigation and and the regional district and the city of Nelson and myself with BC Parks we're all we're all doing the best that we can to try and reduce that risk and and we're expecting that the general public is also going to be doing their part too.